Good afternoon, Sean. It was just about 20 minutes ago that the tranquilizers successfully took effect and the animal was loaded onto a horse trailer. It's now on its way north to a new home. This is what greeted Ken Lennox as he showed up to work Tuesday morning at Edgewood Cemetery in Nashua, a six to 700 pound bull moose. I stopped at first because he was looking right at me, so I didn't want to spook him or anything because I didn't know if he'd charge at me or anything. While this isn't a first for the cemetery, there was another moose here over 20 years ago. It was a first for Ken. So I don't see one of these every day, and actually, I've never seen one in person, you know, up close. And it was quite the sight to see, even if you've seen moose before. This was a bit incongruous, a moose strolling through the headstones. Police and eventually New Hampshire Fish and Game were called. The assumption is that the moose entered the cemetery, which is only about a half mile from downtown Nashua, through one of the unlocked gates, gates that were quickly closed to keep the moose inside. We want to keep him off the road. We don't want to have any, you know, human contact with him hitting a car or getting hit by a car. Um, we just want to keep the public safe and him as well. Fishing Game says it's been a couple of months since they've had a moose sighting in this area, but this is the time of year when the animals are on the move. He's looking to get his velvet off his antlers. He's also looking to, um, he's out feeding as well. And looking for a mate. As Officer McKee says, mating season starts in October. The goal throughout the morning was to keep the animal calm as they awaited the officer with the tranquilizer gun to arrive. The plan to relocate the animal further north. As for Ken Lennox and that first impression. It seems a lot bigger in, in person. Fortunately, there were no funerals scheduled here at Edgewood Cemetery today. Otherwise, this might have proven to be an even more interesting morning. Reporting live in Nashua, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.